Okay, um, just tell me your name and the year you graduated and what you majored in. Uh, my name is Rose Hollerman. I graduated in 2019 and my major was elementary teaching. Okay. Uh, I'm from Elysian, Minnesota. Um, how long have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing on the international level for 10 years and on the club level for 17 years. Why did you choose UTA? Um, I just felt like it was the best fit for me. I think the club has a really good history. I think Jason Nelms is a remarkable coach and had a lot of knowledge that he could teach me. I just, at the time we were kind of starting a program and I thought it would be really great as a female ambassador of sports to come in and be a part of building something. What do you miss most about basketball since COVID has kind of like halted things? Um, I definitely miss scrimmaging and the competitiveness that you can have with your teammates during practices and going back and forth and just like the everything that comes with being a part of a team. Um, how do you see this upcoming season coming like with COVID still kind of being in the in the situation like what do you like how do you see this coming season going for you traveling international playing etc. Um, so for this upcoming season I kind of anticipate being able to adapt all the time. I think though as an adaptive sort of athlete we're always put in that place where we have to be able to adapt and to kind of be on our toes. So it'll be for different reasons than we're used to but it's also something that we do all the time. I also think that maybe getting back over to Spain because that's where I currently play might be difficult and I think there will be restrictions, maybe no fans, maybe testing put in place and I don't know, I just think that this year there's so much unknown and kind of just anticipating not really being knowing what's going to happen next. What's one piece of advice you have for all the young athletes out there during this time? Uh, try to stay active, but when you're trying to stay active, remember to still find ways to have fun with it. So don't be repetitive. Don't go through the motions. Find ways to make it a game. Make it competitive with your parents, your friends, your siblings that are in the house. And just try to keep that same upbeat, competitive, fun atmosphere that we find on the court with what you're doing at home.